Red Light Gamer here. Today I want to show you a build that I made. It's a Paladin tank build. I use it in dungeons. I use it out in the open world, solo, group content. It's, I love this build. It's an extremely fun build. This is my leveling build. Uh, when I get done with this and I get to level 60, I will make an end game build. But for now, here's a few seconds of combat in a dungeon, and then we'll dive into the build itself in a few seconds. So for this build, like I said, I'm using a life staff and sword and shield. It's extremely effective, especially for solo as well. I just wanted a little different one. This is my take on a paladin build. So I always use, or try to always use my life staff before I get my sword and shield on. I actually have everything hotkeyed on my mouse, so it's a little bit faster for me to do. Well, let's go this way real quick. I get distracted by little shinies. So maybe we can find a wolf or maybe we can find a ghost, something like that. Let's see what we got. I'll show you how my combat goes. I got another turkey there. Don't really care about him. Oh, there we go. There's a wolf this way. So I guess I'll do a quick swap. This is close enough. So my abilities I'm using before I get too far into this. I first start out with sacred ground and then I go with beacon extremely fast right after that. So here we go. Sacred ground. Beacon. I'll do a range pull. Here we go. Swap over my sword and shield. The shield rush. Shield bash. Now he's stunned. This works well with multiple targets as well. It's not only a single target build. If you look around me, I also have the ultimate. So you got a little bubble around me that protects my allies. So just like that. But we will go over that next. Show you one more time. Stick of ground. Beacon. Range pull. Shield rush. Get a few hits in because it does slow them. Get a bash in there because it stuns. If I need to, I will use Defiant Stance, but right now I'm fine, don't need it. And if you look at that, my health is still at 100%. I do have food on, and I got light rations on as well. So, what is it? No, light meal, sorry. Extremely good, viable build, in my opinion. No, mind you, that guy was about my level, if not one or two levels below, but that's fine. Okay, like, like I said, next will be the Sword and Shield. When I first started leveling, the very first thing I got was Shield Rush. Like I said, I don't have all abilities yet. This is my leveling build, and I'm only level 28. Almost, you know, 29. So, Shield Rush. Rushes forward 5 meters, knock back foes, and dealing 125 damage. Now, the reason I open this with this every time, then, on a successful hit on all enemies, within 5 meters, gain 10% weaken for 4 seconds. You will do more damage. So, that's why I always got this one. I always use it every time. My next ability was Shield Bash. Shield Bash does 50% weapon damage and stuns foes in front of you for two seconds. An amazing stun. Try to save it for when you have to have it when you are fighting. I always open with this when a boss, because Taunt Gym um, compatible, if you have a Carmelian Gym equipped in your sword, this ability causes a six second taunt to all enemies hit. Taunt causes monsters to focus only on you. An amazing ability. I Oh, I get that. That's my very second one. Now, Intimidating Bash is the upgrade. Shield Bash causes greatly... I'm oh, sorry. Shield, <laughs> shield Bash causes greatly increased threat and 100% more damage. So you get more threat. Now, the very next one is Defiant Stance. I use this uh, quite a bit when I'm leveling if I'm starting to die a little bit. That's the only time I use it. Um, now, I will open up a boss fight or a whole bunch of uh, mobs around me. Because this is an AoE taunt. So, for 8 seconds, reduces the incoming base damage from attackers by 30%. Taunt gem, um, compatible. If you have a chameleon gem equipped on your sword, this ability causes 6 second taunt to all enemies within 8 meters. 
taunt causes monsters to focus only on you so that so my order would be shield rush shield bash defiant stance now right after that i want intimidating bash and i want improved rush now i got a few other ones unlocked here and i have my ultimate see i wanted to rush down to the ultimate all really fast that way when i am tanking in a group which you see here i got this little aura around me a little bubble and what that's going to do defenses formation while blocking reduces damage to all allies with within two meters by 30 percent one second cooldown it happens all the time so it might not seem like a lot but that's a lot you know 30 percent from all enemies while you're blocking but you got to make sure that you block so that would be the skills i'm using for under the weapon mastery tree now i got a lot more life staff to go um i will have an updated video with my end skills when i get everything to 20. now next will be my attributes now until level 20 i focused only on con i wanted the health i don't care about the strength as much dex intelligence and focus right away the reason why the focus is so so important to you is you'll also get a little bit of threat when you are healing yourself so if i got my bubbles down like this i will also pull threat to myself because i have those abilities i'm healing myself and healing other people that will help maintain threat so con until level 20 when you get to level 21 to maybe 23 put some in focus so you can heal better then up to maybe 25 26 do con and put a few more in focus after that that way you're always getting high up there now instead of just going right to the next threshold which would be nice i need 15 more points for that threshold but I need to be able to heal myself a little bit more out in the world. That's why I have this build. I believe it's an amazing build. I haven't had an issue yet. And I, I'm loving it. So let's do one more fight. Sacred ground. Oh, oh I don't want to focus on him. That's a little bizarre. I got to turn that ability off. Let's do sacred ground. Healing. There we go. Rush. A quick bash that way he doesn't hurt me as much he's done i can back up get back in my auras and what do you know i'm at 100 percent health and he is dead quick easy fight it was an extremely fun time if you like this build go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe uh, hit that bell if you want as well i'm going to try to live stream every tuesday wednesday and thursday 8 p.m to 10 30 roughly eastern i'll be doing other live stream events as well when i get enough followers i'm going to give a, a few giveaways out there but until next time have a great day